And welcome to a Bleacher Report live Skype session. I'm Harris Kruskich here with the underground king, Eddie Alvarez of One Championship. Eddie, how are you? Excellent, man. Excellent. Awesome. Uh, just real quick, first and foremost, how are you doing? Um, I know you had to pull out of the World Grand Prix. How is that recovery going? Yeah, so um, unfortunately, two months back or so, I had to pull out of the um, of the Grand Prix, the finals. It was uh, um, like a small step back for a big, large step forward. Um, this, in 2020, I want to be very active. I plan on being the world champion of, of one of one in 2020. In order for me to do that and continue to defend my belt, I'm going to have to be healthy. Um, I, it was looking like going into the end of next year that I was declining. My ankle was getting worse and worse. And um, I was taking risks that, that didn't need to be taken. So I took two months off, got myself healthy again. That way I could have a, the 2020 that I, that I envision in my mind. Was that ankle injury, was it re-aggravated when Edward Foleying uh, got you with that low kick during your match? Yeah, so um, I, I, I seriously considered pulling out of the Foleying fight because it happened, happened about 10 days before the Foleying fight where it popped. And um, I just figured I'm just going to go through with it. I was already down to weight. I didn't have to cut weight on, a, on an injury. So I was already at a good weight. I was ready to go. And I just figured my adrenaline would kick in and kind of get over the injury. And um, I'll be able to kind of pull through with, with the win. Um, Edward kicked me right in it <laughs> immediately. And um, it didn't really hold up. I had to sit on my butt. So um, I took a huge risk. I almost lost the fight because of an injury. And um, I almost wasn't able to continue because of my ankle. So I didn't want to – I think – the more risks you take like that, eventually they catch up to you. So I took a small step backwards, got myself healthy, which is what I should be. I should be able to give the fans a hundred percent of what they always, you know, what they expect. The underground King, every, every time I go out there, they expect a certain me and I want to be able to give that to them. I don't want to lie and say that I'm ready to go and I'm not. Definitely. So when you were in that position, when Foley landed that low kick and, and started his ground and pound, what was going through your mind? Because I imagine, especially you knowing that you had an injury right there next to you, um, what was going through your mind? Because I imagine that's pretty scary. So I do my best to lose my mind before the fight. <laughs> and when I say lose my mind, I mean I try to get rid of the, the idea of thinking a bunch. So like when people ask me what was going through my mind during a fight, um, to me, that's a, that's a, it's a bit of a silly question because like I'm doing my best not to think anything and just be, be, um, instinctual and just react. So, um, luckily I was in, the, I was in the degree of my mind was completely lost and I was, um, just being instinctual. I was down on my back. I don't have time to think about it. I'm just reacting to what's going on. And at that time, I mean, I was thinking, let's let's either get him close, let's get him on top of us and wrap an arm or wrap his head and and be able to buy some time. And then secondary, let's get a good sweep. Let's get a sweep going. And, um, you know, I have the best jujitsu. Ricardo Almeida, Brazilian jujitsu. He just granted me my uh, my, my black belt here. And, oh, congratulations. Um, yeah, thank you. And uh, I've, I have the best team when it comes, especially jujitsu. Where you know, I just don't use it a bunch, but uh, I got a chance to use it and a chance to you know let it shine. So, what's the timetable now for for your recovery? Are you are you medically cleared yet? I'm med I'm medically cleared. We just sent that to one championship. I'm waiting on an opponent. Um, I'm I'm hoping to get Christian Lee. I would love to get love to get the champion. I mean, I. I fought the who's who all around the world. Everyone, um, I can, I I can beat any champion of any organization. So to to be able to get Lee, it'd be an honor. I'd love to, um, and I I do it right in Singapore. I think I think there's a fight. I think there's fight in February in Singapore, and um, I love to do that card. I think it's end of February. So I'm already back in the gym. I've got cleared from my personal, from my PT, my physical therapy. I got cleared from my specialist for my ankle, and I'm ready to go. I'm waiting on an opponent and a for sure date. Um, like I said, end of February, beginning of March, we're, we're good to go. 
were you surprised at how dominant Christian Lee was against Dagger Sonalayev in the World Grand Prix final? Because I think it took a lot of people like back because, uh, you know, for some, Doggy was the favorite going into that match. Yeah, I mean, he put on a dominant performance uh, in in a short amount of time. So it sh- it just shows, you know, he has the chops to hold that belt, to do what it takes to defend his belt on a short notice. He He showed a lot to the public, not, you know, proved himself to the public, proved himself to a lot of people around the world that, you know, to be able to do it against such a dangerous opponent on a short notice fight, um, it was impressive. I enjoyed watching it. Last question. We saw Ben Simmons do a little uh, MMA move during an NBA game a couple weeks ago. Is he is he a true MMA fighter? Are you coaching him up? So uh, Ben messaged me after afterwards and was like, I got your tickets whenever you're ready. Um, and I'll be going down to the Sixers game on the 18th. So next week to, to ring the bell and maybe I'll, maybe I'll get in the locker room beforehand and, and, you know, do a little seminar with the guys. So when they go out there to go out there with some new fresh stuff. Oh man, the NBA is going to have, it's going to look a little different <laughs> the more you're around them. <laughs> it's be the hardest team in the, in the league. Philadelphia, we're born and bred fighters, whether it's our, our hockey team, football team, basketball team. We like to fight, man. That's what we do. That's what the city, the city, the city's a fighting city. That's awesome, man. Well, Eddie, I appreciate you joining us. Uh, best of luck in 2020. Uh, hopefully we can see you fight for that belt. And um, hopefully we talk again with you sometime soon. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.